Hi foodies, my name is Tiffany and I'm an advanced director with The Pampered Chef and my goal is to get recipes, tips, fun and more right into your kitchen. So tonight what I'm doing is introducing our new fall product line. So we have some great new stuff coming out September 1st and I, um, I'm going to preview some of those products tonight so that you can see them because we have a lot of fun stuff coming out that will fit everyone's budget and will be great in any kitchen. So um, if you eat, which includes cooking or heating up food, you're going to love the um, stuff we have to show you tonight. Okay, so the first thing I have up is a favorite of mine that has come back from the vault, so to say. So if you have a guess, type it in below. So this is something that was in the catalog when I first started. Um, they were mostly white and um, had a sharp blade and they used to be um, a dollar and so they were very very popular so if you have a guess type it in below because I'm sure you're very excited so the item has been renamed even though it was um, formerly called the quick cut does anybody remember what that is so what we're calling it now is the kitchen the kitchen paring knife okay so we have three paring knives so i'm gonna show them to you all right so the three colors that they come in i'll take them in the other little packaging are orange blue and green so these are the quick cut paring knives all right so there are two options to get these one is you can get just the blue one all by itself so let me show you the blue one you can get the blue one and it does have a little cover on here. So we'll take that off. So you can get the blue one all by itself or you can get the set of three um, for your uh, your kitchen. So like I said, they've got three different colors. I'm going to keep the little cardboard on here. I'm afraid I'm going to cut myself because I'm not watching. <laughs> you guys know I'm pampered, not perfect. So you've got three knives here and this is also going to be our Roundup from the Heart product. So whenever you buy the set, a dollar um, will go to our Roundup for the Heart campaign. So I absolutely love these paring knives. I think a lot of you are excited. So give me like one of those little hand emojis or if you um, have a set at home, maybe you have one of the old white ones or you're dying to have these in your kitchen when we first got these when i first started with pampered chef they were our steak knives believe it or not because these babies are sharp jim always says they are like little razor blades with handles so definitely be careful with these so the um the blade is two and three fourths inches for anybody who's counting um that's seven centimeters and they're great for slicing and dicing and small foods um i like that the handle is nice and ergonomical so it's a little bit more curvy than it used to be and these babies are dishwasher safe i love those three words dishwasher safe okay so um like i said the blue one can be sold separately or you can get the set of three so i love these guys all right so let's move on to the next product so the next thing i have is um Something that is used for baking, and it has been, um, I guess the more I've been baking, the older I get, I've realized that I've had an issue with my brown sugar, and that at times I go into the pantry, and it is hard, and that is very disappointing when you're in the middle of baking. So let me show you what's up next. So what we have is these are called the brown sugar keepers. All right, so there are two of them in the set. I just, I already have one in my brown sugar. So here's the other one that's not in the brown sugar. So it's actually, um, it's an all natural thing and it is um, food safe terracotta. Okay, so you can kind of see the color of it. It's terracotta like if I show you in the light there. Okay, and it has the PC logo on it. So when you get ready to use these, you actually put it in, um, I put it in a glass of water and let it soak for 20 minutes. And so it absorbs the moisture and then you store it in with your brown sugar. So I love that when I'm doing my baked goods and you guys are gonna love some of the baking things I have to show you, um, that this is gonna keep your brown sugar nice and moist so that you don't have to you know, buy just a little box because you're afraid it's gonna dry out. You can go ahead and buy that big bag which is definitely better per price so I love these little guys how many of you guys want one of these for your kitchen do I have any bakers on tonight that are gonna need a set of these um, for their brown sugar um, remember they come in a set of two so that's great you can keep one and you can gift one or if you keep a lot of brown sugar maybe you need both all right so speaking about sugar let me show you what else we got 
So you may have noticed that the flour sugar shaker has been re, um, discontinued and redesigned. So if you are on my foodies group, you may have seen that, but what the, the redesign I'm really liking. So it's like a stainless steel and it has a little Peeper Chef logo right there. And so um, with this, um, it does have the food storage lid. Let me take the lid off there. So you can see I've already got powdered sugar in there. We've been giving this quite a workout. And it's got a nice large handle on it. Um, this is dishwasher safe for you when you need to um, clean it out. Out, and I suggest you need two or three, okay, because this is what I'm going to use it for. One is going to be for confectionery, sugar, or powdered sugar, depending on how you call it. What do you call it? Do you call it powdered sugar or confectionery sugar? I never know. I think my mother calls it confectionery sugar, but when I buy it in the store, it says powdered, so I'm always confused. Okay, so I've got one for powdered sugar. I definitely need one for cinnamon sugar, because cinnamon sugar toast or on top of some baked goods, so I need a second one. And then the third one that I'm going to get is I'm going to use it for cornmeal, because I love to grill pizza crust and then do the pizza on the stove top and I need a little cornmeal on the bottom of the pizza um, to do that so you're gonna need three of these okay so um, this is gonna be a great little guy um, in your kitchen and um, I might have to have somebody make me like a little logo or something to go right there that says powdered sugar so I'll know which one is which all right that's gonna be great for all of our, our baking stuff that's coming up so I've got another thing to show you you're gonna love it We've got some new gift boxes coming out. So if you are the bake one, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Fourth one for flour. I forgot about flour. So yeah, I guess you'll need a fourth one to shift some flour. That'd be good. So next up, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you our mini loaf box. All right, so that's kind of given away in the next product. Okay, so this is a nice little rectangle. And then the sweet treats box, which is more square-like. Okay, so we're gonna have two sets of these. And then each one is gonna come with, um, the little gift tags in there and it has the little twine to tie it up. There are six in each one, so depending on what size you need. Great for cookies, brownies, donuts, um, fluted cakes, and um, so much more. So you're gonna need a couple of these um, sets to do that. So especially if you like to do homemade for the holidays or just because, um, these are gonna be great that you can just you know put your baked goods right in there. and. Um, let me show you what I'm going to be putting in there. So next up we have our rolling cooking cutters. So these came out, um, the first three sizes came out um, previous to this season. So we had the circle, we had the heart, and then we had um, the little crinkle cut. So it would look like a little ravioli when you made it. So we have two more um, little rollers. So now we have triangles. And then this will cut it into three different lines. So it comes with a handle and you just pop on the shape of whatever you are doing. And then you would roll it across your crust. Now I will tell you, this is really fun with Play-Doh. So whenever I want to like test these out and see what the shapes look like, I do it with Play-Doh so that we can do that. And now they came out with an accessory um, carrying case. So I know where to put all of these so they're not rolling around in my cabinet. So there are, like I said, four different sets. You're definitely going to need a cookie sheet to put them on. You're going to need a cooling rack so you can cool those babies. Um, but you're going to be able to put them all in here and then store them. All right. So those are the rolling cookie cutters. Um, that you'll need to do some fun things this season, or maybe you just wanna play with some Play-Doh. You can do that too. So let's talk about some of our baking items that we have coming out. So back by popular demand are two sets of our cookie cutters. Okay, so we have fall shapes. And so these are our Halloween cookie cutters. So you got like Dracula, and a ghost and looks like that's a frankenstein okay so you've got a set of these so these are like our emoji cookie cutters but they're different um halloween faces and then you've got our christmas cookie cutters so you know you got a snowman and you got um what, what is that guy that guy is the grinch and then you got gingy and of course a funny looking elf so there is multiple shapes in each one all right, so you've got your ha your Halloween and your Christmas cookie shape. So this is gonna be really fun too for the kids uh, and for you if you like to bake. Um, I've also used these with Play-Doh and then let them dry out and then they make really fun ornaments. And then I've also done um, cookies like the um, 
what is that called? The dough, that like a salt dough. And we painted them and then they make really great ornaments. So that would be a nice teacher's gift or maybe a bus driver's gift this year with a little bit of a, you know, a personal flair. Okay, so that is um, our cookie cutters that have come back. Now let's talk about our new baking pans. Okay, I'm very excited about these. I've already been using them, they're so fun. So over here, I'm gonna bring all five of them over for you to see. Okay, so first up, we've got our fall harvest pan. You might be able to see it easier on the back side with the orange color. So it's making leaves and like little pine cones or acorns, whatever you want to call. So I've been I'm doing this. Now these are great because they, um, you know, are just great shapes for fun things like that. So you could use a standard cake mix if you want. Um, I have a recipe for, it's actually kind of an old recipe that was a caramel sticky cookie or caramel sticky cakes that are fabulous. So my, we ate those up really fast in here. So it's a high performing nonstick coating on there. Um, and then these are also refrigerator and freezer safe. So that's really nice that if you needed to set something up in, in the fridge and then take it out, you could do that. Um, I love the fall harvest with the um, nice little detailed shapes. And then you've got your winter snowman and snowflake pan. So not necessarily for Christmas, but you know, you can use it for Christmas, but all through the winter, um, you know, here where we live, we don't, we can't make snowmen until like January, February, sometimes into March. So you've got all these fun shapes. This is a more of a red color. So um, again, the nonstick high performing um, uh, metal right there, nonstick bakeware. So those are the two shapes. You've got your snowmen and you've got your harvest. So this is a more of an orange color. If you're wondering about color, this is more of a red color. And that kind of matches with our cookie cutters too, that are the red and orange. So that is super fun for some fall baking and holiday baking. So remember, I told you, you're gonna need these boxes, right? So you'll need these boxes so you can make some. I don't know about you, but I don't need to be tempted with 12. I might just need one or two and I need to give the rest of them away. So I know my neighbors are gonna like that this year. All right, so then when it comes to all year round baking, I've got some really fun things. A donut pan. So you might have seen my sneak peek of doing donuts in here. The recipe that I did last week that was so easy was one cake mix that was a yellow cake and one can of pumpkin. Now I did add an egg, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I did add that a little bit. And then a little bit of vanilla is, is optional too. So I absolutely love that I could make this. Now we are gonna have, um, Pamper Chef has already developed a vanilla uh, donut and a chocolate donut with icing to go with each one. And I wanna say there's an apple one too that I haven't tried, but I'm dying to do that. So I love the little donut pan um, that is, it's the same nonstick material as the other two. Um, so I absolutely love that. Um, we also have for your baking needs, the mini loaf pan. So I love that I can do eight loaves at a time. We have been making um, banana loaves. So just like banana nut, but minus the nut and using up um, some bananas that, you know, once they're brown, nobody wants to eat them. So we were using um, this pan to do that, but you could do all sorts of things. My kids want me to make cookies in here, so they have really big cookies, which I think is kind of funny. Um, and if you have the quick slice, uh, let me tell you, one loaf fits perfectly in the quick slice. And so when you slice it, you get all these perfect little slices. So if you're sharing with a friend or multiple friends, or if you just want to have little dainty pieces to eat, it's a great thing to have with this. So I, uh, the quick cut, um, is not just for vegetables. It's for baked goods too. So I'm loving that. And then you have our waffle stick pan. So this has been really fun. Not only have I done like a waffle batter in here, but I've taken um, just, we had some white bread in there in the um, pantry. I cut each slice into fours and I was able to put um, a fourth, a fourth, a fourth, a fourth. So each one was one piece of bread. So one, two, three pieces of bread. I scrambled my egg mixture, little egg, little um, milk, little vanilla, um, poured it over top and then sprinkled some cinnamon sugar in there too. So then when I popped it out, the kids thought they looked like Legos. Aren't those fun? Okay. So um, I even had some chocolate icing left over and drizzled some chocolate icing from the donuts on top. That was really fun. You can also take cinnamon rolls and cut them in half and put each half in here. Then as they bake, they'll expand to fill it. And then when they pop out, drizzle them with the icing. That is so good. So you're gonna have lots of fun things to do with this as well, not just waffles. So if you have an idea of what you can do with this, 
um, give me a uh, message below so that we can uh, share some ideas with that. Um, I just, I, I do love the blue. You guys know it's like Tiffany blue. It's like they named it right after me. So I love that. Um, I love that I can do things from scratch or from a box mix. Really most things bake up in less than 15 minutes. Most things are 10 to eight minutes. Um, you can pick um, ingredients that avoid your allergies. So if you need to be gluten free or nut free, um, you can do things like that. I've also have a recipe that is keto friendly. That is for cauliflower sticks that you put in here and then you can dip it in um, a red sauce if you'd like. Um, there's just so many different things that you can do with this. And I love these pans because I know that I'll be using them for the holidays to make treats for um, friends and family to give away just to say I love you you know nothing says I love you like a homemade something right whether it's a loaf a donut or a stick or something shaped like a tree or a snowman or you know something like that so I love 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 that okay so next up what we're going to talk about oh, let me, where, did I, where did I lose my place is um, something to do with your fall entertaining or actually I like to entertain any time of year so don't limit yourself to just one season okay so next up we have this guy. This is our cheese board and spreader set. So if you look closely, it says thankful, grateful, and blessed. Okay, so this is our little cheese and spreader set. Um, the cheese board um, is, uh, it's a, if I'm not gonna say this right, acacia wood. And um, it's really cute and you know charming with the little engravings here. So each one's gonna look a little different because of the naturalness of the wood. Now there is um, a nice well on this side. So if you had like a brie that you had to you know, spill like a sauce over top, that would be really yummy. And then we also have, um, the, the back side is flat. So you could always serve something on that side. So it's dual purpose, okay? You don't have to use just the side. You can use the flat side too. I think that's really pretty. And then you have the fork and spreader set that go with it. So, you know, you got your little fork there and your beautiful little spreader. The, the handle's the same with the acacia wood. And um, I never say this word right, charcuterie. I cannot say that word. Okay, so but you could do things like that. Um, it looks beautiful, you know, on the counter or on the table. Um, and it's just great for spreading all sorts of things. So soft cheeses, like your goat cheeses, and then it's great, the fork is great for your hard cheeses if you need to like puncture things or meats or olives if you're doing a tray. So I love this. Now, in addition to cheese, we've got to have um, a couple cocktails, okay? So next up, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. Let me find it. Is our premium, oh, I must have skipped it. Is our new premium cocktail set. So I know there's some people out there who enjoy a beverage. Um, every now and then so um, let me get the cocktail set and show you that so here is our little cocktail set and so you have um, your shaker and inside the shakers you've got your measurement so it's telling us two and four ounces in the little one and then inside here we've also got the two and uh, four and six ounces so you, you set them off to the side so that you can shake them it also comes with a jigger and the jigger has a nice little pour spout and it has the ounces on the inside there you've got your nice long um, stirring spoon um, you've got your bottle opener because that's always essential and then you oh, pampered not perfect um, you've got your, I think it's the Hartford, is it Hartford strainer? So this fits right inside your strainer so that if you like it um, just to be cooled and then poured in, you can do that. Um, also with this, because um, I usually have someone make my beverage uh, when I'm out and about, but sometimes you want to do that at home, right? So it comes with this guide that is called the golden ratio. I did not know that applied to alcohol, but it shows you that in most drinks, it's four, four, three or four different parts. And it gives you the recipes for a margarita, a daiquiri, a gimlet, um, a Cosmo, a mojito, a Tom Collins, a French 75, um, a Moscow mule and a whiskey sour. So it gives you all of that there. And then it also gives you some bartender lingo on the back. So, you know, no, oh, I forgot the other tool that goes with it, the muddler. So you can um, do some fresh um, lime in there if you're doing to do your mojito. Um, it gives you some information on how to make a simple syrup and then also shaken, not stirred, so that we can um, know which one we're gonna do, if we're gonna shake it or we're gonna stir it. So you can be very sophisticated with your um, premium um, cocktail set. So that's gonna be um, great any time of year, and uh, especially like a great gift for someone that you're just not sure 
what you get them. I mean, who doesn't like a nice um, cocktail set? All right, so the next up, what we have is something that's gonna make every dinner time much easier, okay? So, um, did I bring it out here? Yeah, I did. Okay, so with this product, um, how many of you buy Easy Mac? Go ahead, raise your hand. You can definitely um, admit to that. Guys, that's such a waste. That little bowl that you have to throw away and the powdered cheese, yuck. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do instead. We are gonna use the pasta maker, microwave pasta maker. So this is a ceramic bowl and it has a silicone top. Now this top is just not like any other top. It is actually a boil over no more. So when you do things that are starchy, like potatoes, rice, um, pasta, sorry, I think somebody tried to call and it, it interrupted. Um, it is going to, uh, as it is in the microwave, it's gonna start to boil and it's gonna boil up, but the water is gonna go back down through the holes Okay, and then um, depending on the type of pasta will depend on how much water and how much time in the microwave. So it does come with instructions and we also already have a great recipe collection to go with this. So earlier, I think it was either yesterday or today, I shared in my um, customer group, my four foodies group was a zucchini lasagna recipe that you make in here with the zucchini noodles. So this is gonna be really fun. And it um, goes really well with the cozy set, which I think the cozy set has magically disappeared from in my kitchen. Um, let's see if I can get a kid to get it for me. Hey, Drew, can you get the cozy set for me? Don't you love that? He's up there playing a game and I'm just like yelling at him. Come here. So um, this is gonna be great so that you can do that. Now I will tell you, we've used this bowl for a couple different things. Great serving bowl for cereal, okay? Because then they're like, I didn't have two bowls, I just had one big one. Can you go in my office and get my cozy set, the silver things that go on this? Please, they're in my office. Um, this is also great for a serving of something. So we did um, refried beans in here last week. We did, um, what else have we done in here? You know, just a side of whatever you need to heat up could be perfect in here. Uh, but I love that the lid goes on. Now I will tell you this because someone in my house has already done this. Do not pick it up like this, okay? I don't want to even try it. Do not pick it up with this because this falls up in my show bag. And this is it's gonna come right off. So don't do that. You need to pull it up from the bot, hold it from like this. So Drew's gonna grab my cozy set so that I can show you how that works. Um, I'll show you a picture real quick if you wanna see. See, there's a picture of it, which is kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see that the cozy fits right around the bowl right there. So with those cozies, um, they are dishwasher, oh, I'm sorry, not dishwasher. <laughs> they are washing machine safe. And um, they're an exclusive material that makes it safe to get hot in the microwave. So when you put this in the microwave and this gets hot, the cozy is not going to get hot. So did you bring both of them? Yes, he did. What a good boy, Drew. Oh, don't throw them. Can you hand them to me? I'm live and you're, okay. So here's the big one. And you would just put this right in there like that in the microwave. So when this comes out of the microwave, this is not hot. So it's very easy to take in and out of the microwave. So this is the smaller one, which is great for like our ceramic egg cooker, our ceramic breakfast sandwich maker, um, a bowl. Maybe you just had a bowl of soup or something. This comes together in a set, the one big, the one small. And I do know this price. This one is $17.50. Um, so this is actually already available. They let this sneak out before September 1st and let us um, have this. So I love that I can tuck anything in there. Um, if anything gets on there, I like I said, I can put it in the wash machine. Um, the large cozy is great for um, it was about a two quart container, and but the small one will fit most things like um, cereal bowls, soup bowls, things like that. All right, so the cozy set that goes really great with the microwave pasta maker. All right, and let me flip past this. Okay, so you may want to see some of our. Um, we uh, discontinued a few other products at the end of this month um, and I was kind of sad but I'm like oh there must be something better coming along and that is the new micro cooker set. You can buy them individually and you can buy them together so let me show them to you. All right, so here we go, the new micro cooker set. So here's the small micro cooker. You remember it used to have a long handle that made it look like a pot. Now it's short and sweet. All right, the lids just turn. They're much easier to get on than they used to be and they kind of click in place because the lid has like a little hook on it to click it in place. So this is the small. All right, this is like a one quart capacity. This is the next size up. This is the two quart. 
So, and the, again, it's just the same. The lid pops right in place. It has drain holes. So if you wanted to just drain it out like that, you can. Um, and then the third size is a three quart capacity and it also doubles as our new rice cooker plus. So um, I do things in here like rice, potatoes, pasta. Um, it is not just for um, rice, even though we used to call it the Rice Cooker Plus. Um, you can do lava cakes in here. And another thing I absolutely love, which is something that I used to not be able to do, is that all three of them stack one inside the other, and then the lids click together. Drew had so much fun with this the other day. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. And we're going to click all three lids together so that when we store them in the mark or in the cabinet it goes just like that so if you have a college kid or someone that you know that's living on their own like you know um and they do a lot of microwave cooking this is perfect um this goes actually i think really perfect with this set too the um, pasta maker and then the little um, cozy set too. So this is like the microwave collection that we have now with, with these three cookers and then the pasta maker here. Um, I love that the boil over no more guard is in here. So with this one, this one has a little bit different lid because you have this piece that also clicks into the lid. So this helps to keep stuff inside so that it doesn't boil through the holes. So like with this, if you overfill these, the um, liquid could come up through these holes, but with this lid, it prevents that. So these strain holes are actually in here. There's three little strain holes. It might be hard for you to see. Let's see if I put my hand, you can kind of see it like that. All right, so that's why when I use that, sometimes I'll take this lid off, take this part off, put this back on and drain it like that. But it prevents it from over uh, making a mess in your uh, microwave um, while you're cooking. So that's why I fill that baby all the way up with potatoes. Slice, I slice them and put them in there. And that's how I start my mashed potatoes um, when I need to like get things moving rather quickly. All right, so that is your microwave cooker set. The three different, um, three different sizes, one, two, and three quarts. And then um, definitely make sure you have some microwave grips to go with those. I like those little red things that you take things in and out. I love those. All right, so next up, about six months ago, we had a um, upgrade to our facelift for our cookware, and there were two pieces that were left behind, and so they are being discontinued um, at the end of this month, and they are introducing new ones. So what that is, is the double burner grill pan and the double burner griddle. So let me show you the griddle. Here is the double burner griddle. Okay, it is beautiful. Look at that, it's so pretty. The back is all nice and shiny. And as long as um, you don't put this in the dishwasher, the back will stay all nice and shiny. However, this is now dishwasher safe. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I do suggest using our, um, our little microwave grips with these handles, but they even has the little Pamper Chef Happy Spoon right inside. I probably can't see it because of the little shadow, but I love this. So in addition to our other cookware that we redesigned um, and upgraded about six months ago, this is dishwasher safe. It is PFOA free. So that is sometimes a concern for people, especially bird owners, um, because of the bird flu, if you've ever heard of that. Some people get very concerned about nonstick cookware and it getting to a certain temperature and releasing chemicals into the air, but this is PFOA free, so you don't even have to worry about that. Um, it is dishwasher safe. The um, nonstick coating is a four layer coating, and so that's why you can use metal um, utensils on this, which is great. Um, you don't have to worry about the, the rivets and stuff getting stuck in the rivets because there is no rivets. It's all nice and um, even in um, one piece. Now the new uh, double burner grill pan is a little bit deeper than this. I don't have it yet. I'm waiting. Okay, it's a little bit deeper than this and it has the ridges just like our grill pan does right inside there. This beautifully sets right inside the double burner grill pan for easy storage. So you don't have to worry about like the handles and where they're gonna go and how they're gonna fit together and all the room they're gonna take up in your, um, in your thing there. So I love that this is um, a new addition to our cookware line. It does fit two presses if you'd like to do that. And then our double burner grill pan also fits uh, two presses. So it's got a true flat bottom, which makes it really nice for the heat to distribute evenly on this. So even if you don't have that warmer setting, that warmer burner thing on your stove, this will conduct the heat between it because it's gonna distribute that. So you can use this on an electric stove that has the coils. You can use it on an electric stove that has a flat top. You can also 
use it on a, um, a gas stove. So um, this is very versatile to be able to use. So, and um, the corners are, um, have, they can be poured out of too. So if you have stuff that you need to pour off, like bacon grease, because I save that. Do you guys save that? I save that because then I want to make like my eggs and the bacon grease later. Okay, so um, I absolutely love this and uh, you are gonna love having this in your kitchen and the double burner grill pan. They're just absolutely beautiful and so versatile so that you can do like, you know, think of breakfast on Saturday mornings. Do your eggs down here and your bacon down here. Or maybe you're gonna do pancakes on one end and sausage on the other end. It's just so nice to be able to do it right there. Think about fried rice for dinner. You could do all of your fried rice right here on the skill, on this flat surface right here, like just like they do at the hibachi place. You could do that right in your house, guys. Okay, so I absolutely love this. All right, so let me show you um, what else we've got. We did the premium cocktail set. And the next and last thing, I'm super excited about. You guys have been seeing the previews on my customer page on Foreman's Foodies, and you might have been saying, what is that? How are you making that? What are you talking about? You made chicken in 12 minutes. I cannot wait to show you this. So let me move a few things. I make a little room here because I want to show you the brand new Pamper Chef Quick Cooker. Okay, so we're gonna have to na rename our Roomba because I think this is gonna be my new R2-D2. Okay, this is the quick cooker. Yes, I'm petting it because it's beautiful. Okay, I have made dinner more time in the last, I'd say three weeks than I have made dinner all summer. Um, the quick cooker is a pressure cooker um, that Pamper Chef has come out with. And so it's funny, we actually have things that have a cord now. Um, and some of the things that um, I wanna show you about this is um, on the, let me take the top off. On the top here, there's a little indicator. So when it comes to pressure, um, your this little red thing will pop up. Now, also with this, the steam release is right here, but the button is right here. So these are far apart to help with safety. Um, and then it, um, the lid just kind of turns on. You kind of get used to it on how where it kind of needs to go to flip. And you can't take the lid off when it's at pressure. You have to push the button to release the pressure or let the pressure be released all on its own. Now, also with this, it has 16 settings. So let me angle this down a little bit for you guys. All right, so there are 16 settings on here. Um, you've got your sear, which means with the lid off, um, oh, where's my inner pot? Um, I guess my children um, were supposed to be doing dishes earlier and we have misplaced the inner pot. Let me see. So it is a, where did they put that? Oh. Okay, so somebody didn't feel like unloading the dishwasher, it looks like, um, and here's the inner pot. Okay, so here's the inner pot. So we're going to put this down in here, and then you can sear in here. So last week when I made pot roast, I actually seared the pot roast in here um, to do that. And when I made the carnitas, I seared the pork chops that was a loin that I cut into chops. I seared them in here. So that's how you would sear. Um, you can steam, you can slow cook, and you can proof. Okay, I'm not talking your English paper, guys. Um, I had no clue what proofing is until somebody finally explained it to me. It's what you do to bread before you bake it. So you can proof your bread in here. Um, you can do white rice, brown rice, and whole grains. And then over here, you've got your uh, chicken and poultry, beef and pork, your fish and seafood, um, your soup and stock, beans, stew and chili, and lastly, dessert. Okay, so you might have seen my picture about uh, a cheesecake that I made. I made the cheesecake in here, guys. Can you believe it? So um, with this comes our quick cooker cooking guide because I didn't know how to use this when I got it. So I kind of had to flip through here. And so what I like about this is it does give you cooking times for some things that you're used to um, cooking or maybe you want to start cooking. So um, it's got a whole section for beans and legumes and then one for grain and rice a whole section for vegetables. Um, like you could do a whole spaghetti squash in 12 minutes. All right, then it's got your whole meat section. So um, you got your red meat, your pork, your uh, chicken and, beet, uh, and turkey. So last week I had boneless um, breasts that were frozen. And so with frozen, it's t eight to 12 minutes. It's amazing that I could do that in t less 
within 15 minutes, okay? So 12 minutes. So this is, once it comes up to pressure, this is the countdown for everything. And so the knob, as you turn it to the different settings, it tells you the time and it has the pressure settings. Now you also have the availability to custom set it. So if you knew of a recipe that you found somewhere else and you're like, oh, I need maximum pressure and it needs to cook for eight minutes, you can change all of that um, on the custom setting. And then this um, cooking guide also has a recipe for like each of the main um, cooking types on here. So you've got your rice and your vegetables. Um, here's the bread. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that bread. That's multi-green bread. So it comes with the inner pot in the, in the um, little cooking guide that's here. So let me show you some of the accessories that come with it. Let me angle this up a little bit. All right, so say you wanna be able to do your protein in the bottom and then you're like, well, what about everything else? My vegetables or my, my starch, what am I gonna do with that? So there are two accessories. Oh, where's my other accessory? Did I leave it here? Again, I'm pampered, not perfect, guys, sorry. All right, so the first accessory I wanna show you is this is for the dessert option. This is a spring form pan. So um, it does come with this little guy too so that you can put this down in there. So you have your ceramic bowl and you have your uh, spring form pan. So this is the little rack that you put it down into, but let's say you were doing your chicken on the bottom and you had a, some teriyaki sauce on there and you want to do some rice and you're going to do that right here in the bowl. You can put the lid right on top of it. This lid is specifically designed to go on this little guy right here. So it allows um, steam to escape within the pressure cooker. You'd put it right inside your rack and then you would set this right down inside like this. So and you just fold those in there. So then when it's done, remember it's hot, you're going to grab it with your micro grips and be able to take this out just like that. Um, I did the three parties this past weekend and at every party we just did a side of rice and I put the rice down in the pot. I didn't even use the accessory because that's all we were cooking. Um, I was able to set six eggs on this, so two on each of the major sections and hard boil my eggs in here and I did six at a time. That was perfect for the, a couple days. And then, like I said, you can do your um, desserts and stuff, your cheesecake right in here too. So you got your accessory sets to go with it. Um, so I love the, the options that I can make with that. So, so far I have made, uh, let me show you. I have made the, um, the cheddar risotto, which was, to, uh, it's cheddar broccoli risotto with chicken. Um, we did the chicken parm. The kids loved it. Um, I even started that with frozen chicken. Um, carnitas, oh my gosh, the carnitas were amazing. Um, and I used the Pamper Chef Carnitas slow cooker seasoning, but did it in the quick cooker. Um, we did the root beer barbecue ribs, but I did it with chicken. So it was really um, quite easy. The kids love the flavor of it. I, I mean, I thought it was good too. You guys, I love to eat, so I'm not gonna complain. Um, last week we did the um, pot roast with mashed potatoes. And let me tell you about my pot roast, guys. When I put the pot roast in here, I seared it all around like the recipe said, and then I put it on there and it was coming to pressure and I'm watching the clock going, oh gosh, we're gonna have to leave. Practice is a little bit further away than I thought. And so um, I had the countdown going. I left with kid number two to take her to practice, left kid number one here in charge and just said, you know, don't worry about it, just leave it. So when it comes to the time and the time is over, it stops and then it keeps it warm and it starts to count up. Okay, so when I got home, two hours had passed. So once the two hours had passed, I came home, I opened my quick cooker and it was perfect. Okay, I sliced into the pot roast. It was like it had just finished and I served it up with the carrots and the mashed potatoes. It was delicious. So I feel perfectly safe for it to stay cooking while I'm gone and to come back and open it up when I'm done and serve right from there. So for those of you who are maybe running kids like I am, you know, one's gonna be here, one's gonna be here, and then one comes back and then the other one comes back, you know, you've got it all in here. This is gonna be such a time saver. So um, you may be wondering about price on this. I will tell you it's $240. Um, when you host a show in September, you can get it 60% off um, for $96, and October too, actually, for $96. A host at any time can get it half price, and then a past host at any time can get it as a half price item on a show that she booked, or that booked from her party, or your 10% off can be applied. I will tell you it is worth every single penny, because I wanna tell you this. Have you ever gone to Home Depot and bought a lawnmower? Okay, a lawnmower on the cheap ends, what? Two, three, four hundred dollars? Somebody ring in. What'd you pay for your last lawnmower? Let's just say four hundred dollars. 
okay? $400, you use it for 20 weeks a summer. It comes out to, um, let's say 20 weeks. Let's say $20 a week, right, is what that lawnmower costs you. This baby is $240. You're gonna use it every single week and you're gonna use it multiple times a week. It's gonna come out to like $2 a use, guys. And I don't know about you, I do love my drive through However, it's not great on my waistline, it's not great on my wallet, and I need something fast. I don't wanna spend all night in the kitchen washing dishes, prepping, and all that. This is so fast. You're gonna absolutely love the quick cooker. And that's why I save this to last because we always save the best for last, right? I absolutely love this. And I don't own the other pressure cookers that are out there. Um, I do know that those are a really hot seller um, out in the market, but I don't own one. I waited for Pamper Chef and they came through and they did their research and they really stand behind their product. This guy has a one year warranty where those other ones that you buy out and about only have a 30 day warranty. Something happens to it, oh well. Pamper Chef stands behind their product, one year warranty on this guy. And you're absolutely gonna love it. So I cannot wait to do a full, like my full meals in here. Um, you know, with my sides and everything in here too, we've been doing a lot of protein in here, whether it's chicken, um, beef, or pork. Guys, I usually don't buy beef or pork. Like I'm really sticking to chicken and ground beef. And this has really helped me explore those options. I'll tell you, my husband's kind of jealous right now because he's out of town and he's like, what? You made pot roast? And I was like, I know, right? So I hope you have enjoyed our little fall product reveal. And, um, discovering all these fall products. If you tuned in kind of late, go back through and watch it from the very beginning because I went over everything that's coming out new. Um, and if there's something specific you want more information on, feel free to PM me or ask it below right here. And I'm gonna go back through and read all the comments and see what you guys said um, because this product line is amazing. Pampered Chef, I tell ya, every year I think, what can they possibly come out with now that we don't already have? And they always surprise me. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you have a fabulous Monday. And remember foodies, I'm here for you for recipes, tips, fun, and more. Talk to you soon.